Howdy YouTube, today we're taking a look at the WWE Mattel Series 49, it's the big guy, Ryback. Certainly one of the basic figures that Mattel have released that I was really keen to get. Uh, at the time they announced this guy, Ryback, uh, was actually having a really big push in the lead-up to Survivor Series. They built him up as this monster that both the authority and, um, I guess, uh, the good guys were trying to get on their side. Eventually, he uh, joined the good team. And he was really disappointing at Survivor Series. It was a real, real shame. Much the same as Mark Henry, someone they built up and then uh, one knockout punch and he's eliminated. So that was uh, quite a bit of a spew, if I'm honest. But this guy looks really nice in figure form. Lots of great detail. Very excited to get him opened up out of the packaging. Nice shot of Ryback on the top there. He gets a bit of heat, but uh, when I returned to watch wrestling... Uh, you know, around 2012 when The Rock came back, this guy was uh, the number one heel going up against people like John Cena, having some really good matches at uh, Extreme Rules and then Payback as well. So let's get this guy opened up out of the packaging. Just taking a look at the back of the box, nice shot of Ryback there. Other figures in the set, Bray Wyatt, which is a really nice figure. Roman Reigns, Bret Hart, if you haven't seen my review on that, make sure you check it out. The Bo Dallas looks really cool. Very excited to uh, hopefully get my hands on that guy and review it for you. And Emma, of course. Really good lineup. Hopefully this guy's pretty decent as well. Okay, and here we have Ryback opened up and out of the packaging. And one thing that I'm really upset about hopefully you guys can see it, is his elbow. Uh, it's busted, which is very, very annoying, especially considering how excited I was to get this guy. Uh, it did look like it was uh, pretty bad in packaging. Um, it is holding in place at the moment, but uh, I'm going to have to be very careful with that. Really, really upset. Uh, nice shot of Ryback for the face scan. Really good. Uh, obviously, if uh, you haven't seen the Colt Cabana um, podcast with CM Punk, you'll know that uh, he put a lot of shit on Ryback, uh, basically saying he works way too stiff. If I'm honest, I, I don't mind that. I like wrestlers that uh, bring a bit more intensity to the ring. Really great detail. Uh, I love one of the things I I've got to give Mattel credit for is that it's a really cool looking figure, like lots of great detail. I'll bring it forward so you guys can take a look at the tights. Really nice. Unlimited energy, of course. The Ryback logo. Really nice. Uh, a little bit like uh, the Rob Van Dam uh, figures where they're always really colorful, always really nice. You can see, obviously, great detail on the side as well. Really happy with uh, how that turned out, actually. So, in terms of articulation, he's got a ball-jointed head, ball-jointed uh, arms, swivel in the bicep, bend at the elbow, ball-jointed wrists, swivel waist, legs move forward and back, bend at the knee, and then movement in the feet as well. So, your standard basic articulation, but definitely a really, really cool figure. Even if you're not a fan of Ryback, just visually, I think this guy looks really different and really cool. You compare him to, for argument's sake... Uh, Randy Orton or, or Triple H or Big Show who are, or Seth Rollins, uh, although that's an awesome figure, um, which are pretty plain. You know, it's definitely something different, definitely something really cool. Lately, he has started wearing the um, elbow pads as well. So um, that's one thing that's probably missing off this guy that I think he actually had at the time. But uh, still, really, really happy I picked this guy up. Really nice figure. I can't rem uh, recommend it enough. If you're uh, a WWE fan, you're a fan of Ryback, then this guy's a must-have. 